Hi, I'm Ann Thomas with Simply Idea Solutions, and I just exposed my business on BizLinks TV Network. Learn more about how we can help authors self-publish from cradle to grave through enhancement, exposure, and education. Coming up on my episode of That's My Biz on BizLinks TV. On the, the books, uh, especially because you talked about the editing and the, the different levels of editing, so whether yes. it's just the proofreading or whether it's the really getting into it, let's talk a little bit about that because editing is so important. I've yes. read some books and just from typos or something just didn't tie in and make sense, yes. it really makes it difficult to enjoy that book. So it talk does. a little bit more about the importance of editing and yes. getting into even the the concepts of what they intend. Did you intend to say this or that did you so intend awesome. to say something else? That is an excellent yeah. question. The first rule of thumb is mm-hmm. please do not edit your own work. Yes. That is <laughs> that is like the biggest yeah. no no. Mm-hmm. Uh, because even you know myself and my fiance we publish books as well and mm-hmm. we do not edit our That's own right. stuff. Okay, yeah. so the editors don't edit their stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so always make sure I always tell writers that you know if there's a place that you're going to really invest mm-hmm. money mm-hmm. it is in your editing yeah. editing because like you said I, I am that person I, I, I maybe can stumble over one typo mm-hmm keep going right but then when I start hitting them repeatedly yeah. then it, it kind of becomes a turnoff right. and what it does is it diminishes mm-hmm. the reputation of your book right. even if you have exactly. a great story to mm-hmm. tell there are people who will be turned mm-hmm. off by it so do not edit your own <laughs> uh, definitely if you are a person who is uh, who's really not used to writing because some people they have a story to tell but they're mm-hmm. really not a writer right and that's where you really want to get an editor involved you're not used to writing just get it out you know mm-hmm. get it on paper but then be open to the feedback that really helps you to see ultimately what is the goal what do you want the reader to Mm -hmm. do how Mm -hmm. you want them to respond Mm -hmm. after reading your story with that being said the goal of the book should be to lead to that Mm -hmm. response right sometimes um we're telling a story we can kind of jump you know one young lady she was jumping from, you know, between weeks and years and okay. months. And, and so as we read that, okay. we had to help her to really mm-hmm. uh, put some, con- you know, mm-hmm. create some consistency, some transitions, yeah. things yeah. that we don't think about, mm-hmm. um, but an editor does. Right. And so um, I, I would highly, highly, strongly suggest yes. to invest in a good editor. Um, you know, we don't just edit the content, mm-hmm. uh, which is the huge, you know, probably the largest part mm-hmm. of it, but we also format your book. Okay. You know, there's some people that That's have, uh, hello, yeah, <laughs> there's some people that have come to us and they go, oh, I've paid, you know, $800 mm-hmm. to an editor yeah. and, and there is no paragraph structure, there are wow. no page numbers, mm-hmm. there are no headers, mm-hmm. there are no footers. Yeah. So really know what your yeah. editor mm-hmm. is uh, charging you for. And I will say to you, yeah. if your editor charges you $100 mm-hmm. beware beware mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I'm not sure yeah. what they're going to give you for $100 right. I've had some people right. invest in right. oh I've paid an editor and then when I get it I go oh but we need to edit this right. again right.